on Twitter, you know, Milo wants to say mean things, block, mute. You know what I do? I press mute. Yes. Yeah. Mute. Mute. Mute I don't even block people. I block some people. Yeah. The Milo one was very, very weird. They were looking for a re... And here's the other part of it. You know, what he ultimately got in trouble, air quotes for, was him talking about the positive experiences that he had as a young man being molested. I think that was after he was already banned, though. I don't think so. Well, he might have been banned from Twitter already. Yeah, But then he got kicked off of youtube and he left i don't think he's kicked off youtube he's not i think he's still on youtube was it was it breitbart that he left he got fired he, he quit breitbart Pr- quit this, breitbart this, this is another but, thing too though uh you know i see all these journalists writing all these articles saying like milo is gone milo is whining and he's mm-hmm. no more i'm like dude's got like six million followers across his instagram his youtube and his facebook he posts all the time you know the journey he's not in the public conversation as much as he was before because they've when censored him when you're not on Twitter, right. the journalists who make up a huge core of their verified users, who apparently, according to a CNN article, are the lifeblood of their platform, aren't, talk- aren't talking about you. But here's my, my point. He's not saying that men should go have sex with younger boys. He was basically saying that it could be a positive experience because it was for him. Well, I don't, I don't know anything about what happened in that capacity. My, my point was, if I said, when I was 13, a 21-year-old girl fondled me, do you think I'd get in trouble if I said it was awesome? No. I bet I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> nah, weird. you wouldn't. Right? Uh, my brother was pointing out, because uh, Law & Order SVU is basically on 24-7, it's like 98% of the episodes are only ever about women, never mm-hmm. about men being victims. Sometimes they are. But he was like... Oh, I just realized that. And I was like, well, that's society. Well, you that's know, special victims unit. That's the show. I mean, the, the, like they have so many versions of law and order, but that one in particular, right? Oh, no, but I mean, it, it deals with sex crimes. Yes. And almost every episode, it rarely ever talks about male victims. Right. Which exists. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I, I, I don't want to get like into a men's rights thing, but no, I think it's yes. you know fairly obvious to a lot of people. Like you mentioned, yeah. if you said it, nobody would have cared, but right. Milo's gay. Right. And so that becomes, you know, it becomes a thing for him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I t- it's some... Um, what there's we need some kind of clear guidelines right where you can operate inside these guidelines and all's fair it's just i mean to an ex to an extent it, it is tough should yeah. comedians al- be allowed to operate dancing on the line you know what i mean like well, Jordan- obviously i think so right right I, i'll tell you so- <laughs> i can't tell you this shit i'll tell you something <laughs> after this is over that's gonna you're gonna think it's hilarious and we'll find out about it in the future oh and everyone's gonna be like right keeping secrets. no no no, it's not a secret it's a comedy secret it's it's about something but you know so, but, 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 but i'll take this i'll op- tell you too remind me remind but i'll me. take this opportunity to segue into another point when it comes to the bias right uh-huh how is it that you can have jimmy kimmel jimmy fallon dress in blackface on their when uh, CNN made a big list. I don't know exactly when it happened. I think uh, Kimmel was on the Man Show. He dressed like a basketball player. Oh Jesus! And Jimmy Fallon dressed like Chris Rock. Oh no. Jesus! Sarah Silverman did it. She, yes. I think she addressed it though. Yes. Everybody, no, nobody loses their minds. Nobody loses their minds over that because they're on the left. You think? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's. I, I honestly, I would say, to an extent, there's probably some kind of tribal bias. Well, I think when you're going back to high school yearbooks looking for outrage from 55 year old people. You've, you've lost the plot. You've lost isn't the that, plot. Isn't that crazy? It's fucking